All right, welcome back. That's still the Good Morning Ninja show. And uh, yes, we need to talk about a lot of things where they affect the human mind. Mm, because right now, uh, the mental health we won't discuss this morning. And a lot of people, they talk, say, eh, hey, no concern me now. Me, are they okay? I see they wear clothes. I see they do the work where they do. Uh, now, only when person don't come up clothes, enter market, if you say something they worry about. But no, it, there are different kind of things that we need to look into. As individuals, and the person who go follow us talk this one this morning, and a better individual we get all the knowledge about this level. And we talk to Choma Musu, hmm, now mental health advocate. Choma, how far? I'm very well. Yes, I see. And you fine. You did fine. Yeah, yeah. Not so, not so. I mean, the way that you drop down, so we're gonna say yes. You are with me. You are with me. Okay, so Choma, we're discussing mental health today, and. Okay. Uh, a lot of times, people they think say uh, this thing not to concern them like that. So make we even understand uh, which aspect be this uh, where you won't carry this thing come from. Because as you be advocate for this level, what to make you even enter this thing in the first place? Why you decide to focus on mm. mental health first? Okay, first of all, you are pity me small because my PG <laughs> PG not too, <laughs> not uh, too no, strong. I'll, I'll, no, so I will try my best. <laughs> okay, so um, the name of my NGO now. Mm. Um, Ola Marquez Foundation okay. and the reason why I enter and we say um, for the longest time I want to help people we get special needs mm -hmm. so children will get autism mm -hmm. and all that but eventually you find out say that their parents the people where they take care of them mm. them too they, they suffer you know mm. some of them get um, um, depression mm -hmm. some of them their family will call them witch because they get children where they get mm -hmm. autism or cerebral palsy and all that so eventually um, I decided that you know as much as we're trying to focus on the children, mm -hmm. how we go fit take care of these parents too as well. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of what spurred into us getting into mental health. And then I also had my personal experience. Mm -hmm. um, so that just made it more personal for me and yeah. basically. Okay, uh, as you think talk, you get your own personal experience, people would say, hmm, what's mm -hmm. in your personal experience? What's happen to you? And that kind of thing. But uh, with a look at the situation, take B, as take care, uh, point out these things about the the children and how the parents serve or the people they take care of them they mm -hmm. even get this kind of situations how person go even take no say something not they all right yeah for their own mental level how mm -hmm. person could take no so um first of all you get different type of mental illnesses mm -hmm. normally when people hear mental illness aside the normal ah, this person don't crazy you, yeah. you know the one will be the most popular one are depression or anxiety mm. but you know for the book of the whole mental health thing it says that we have over 350 types of mental illness wow you know so there's schizophrenia there's anorexia there's dementia there's a whole lot mm -hmm. ocd mm -hmm. self you know so um there are different ways that you can identify but one thing that is unique with all these things is persistence mm -hmm. so for example you go here when somebody they sad and the person will tell you say i depressed mm -hmm. but we they tell people you know you need to try and change the narrative because sadness no mean depression, no, depression you know if you see person where they suffer depression you know even one you get know into one that day. Yeah, so not for true. the difference between sadness and depression is depression is persistent sadness so mm. when it continues for over two weeks you know you say okay maybe it's time to see a doctor mm -hmm. same as anxiety too, too as well and the moment it starts to disrupt your normal activity way they do then yeah. it's time for you to check and meet the specialist mm. so now i don't hear that maybe it's in past two weeks then you go need to at least go see person who will give you information mm -hmm. on this level. So all that sadness, you just they sad. So, but you know some people, they, they sad because they're broke. Yes. They feel <laughs> broke for two weeks, and I'm like, I'm tired, I'm tired. True. So you go go down with depression mm -hmm. too. No, not really, Sha, because the difference between sadness is an emotion. So if, for example, say, person where they like to watch movies now, yes. if they watch their movie, they go feel better. If they eat ice cream or they hang out uh -huh. with friends, they go feel better. But with depression, nothing, nothing is making you okay. Mm. You know, you're just persistently sad. Mm. You know, with money, the thing with money is that as soon as you get that money, it's over. Not true. But with depression, even if you have the money, you it's still not feel yes, that you way. Still feel that mm. way. Mm. So when I don't hear that, but that's not the first information we don't give on. If you don't pass two weeks where you notice, say, this thing they happen to you, uh, shapali, shapali, go see person where go chook head on top of that level, give you better things to do. So now let's speak about how person go feel even tackle this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, what thing we will need to do on our own? Because sometimes when people talk, say, more go see person who a professional, they would think of the money where they mm -hmm. want spend. Uh, how I go take spend all this money, what I want do. So how can you on your own start to check and, okay, what do you feel do to help you change mm -hmm. uh, this situation? So 
before he gets to that level mm -hmm. where he feeds, he supposed to meet um, a therapist, yeah. there are a lot of things. It starts with your nutrition. It starts with self-care, mm -hmm. the way you take care of yourself. And, you know, I will just give a few points. Okay. So, for example, your health, um, your nutrition, what you eat. Within the chop, yeah. There are some kind of foods that actually helps the hormones, so okay. dopamine, it helps with the neurotransmitters, so eat more of all those kind of meals, drink a lot of water, mm. aside that to physical exercises, mm -hmm. because you realize that some people just like to stay in one spot, they're not moving around and all that. So engage in walking, running, if you don't even have space, just walk up and down your compound, mm -hmm. you know, for me, I do yoga, I'm actually a yoga instructor, okay. do yoga, yoga is very interesting to do. Asides engaging in physical activities, one of the things I always say I practice is being kind. You know, as mm. funny as that sounds, there's a pleasure it gives you when you actually help other people. It gives you a sense of fulfillment, mm. you know, so being kind is very necessary. Practicing relaxation techniques, so sitting down and deciding to just meditate and letting go of everything that is going on in your head, journaling, mm. you know, there are different activities. Um, I'm trying to think of more Hmm. Uh, it's, it's a whole lot, basically, you, but it's mostly self-care. This one, with, the way you talk now, we touch me, they talk, say, being kind. Yes. Ah. <laughs> yeah, because we know, say, for this country, people like to think of themselves first mm -hmm. uh, because of the hustle and things where they share. Uh, they will be kind. And people, we don't know, say, now nah, something will help your, your mental state. Yeah. But as you don't point them out, so that you, there's a feeling you get when you help other people. Mm -hmm. And you see, say, what you do even impacts the next yeah. person. Then the uh, exercise is where you talk. With the exercise, uh, people, they visit <laughs> the exercise every day. From one bus to another, <laughs> hold up, traffic. No, but those ones are not intentional now. Okay, so you need intentional exercise. Ah. Yes. So add that to the hustle yes. and bustle with the street. Yes, because that's different. Uh -huh. you know, the, the intentional exercise is key. You know, when you're taking that work, your mind is on that thing that, you know, I have to run five kilometers or I have to do this. It's actually, you know, your neurotransmitters are emitting. There are some hormones that are emitting in your mm. body and in your system. So it makes sense. Another thing that is important for me is actually showing gratitude. Mm. You know, as much as people don't understand that, being thankful for the little things that you have. Because, mm. you know, for some people, they go say, oh, you know, I suppose half car before I get yeah. happy. But the fact that you're even alive is enough to be mm -hmm. grateful for. Mm -hmm. And when you start to recognize those little things that that make you excited, yeah. you realize that you start, start to find more meaning to life hmm. than, you know, trying to find fulfillment in the big things. Yeah, but, but people, they say, now, social pressure, they cause all this thing now. When you see, say, you, your guy will on a day together, just they buy a motor, mm -hmm. you never see mm -hmm. bike buy or never see, you know, this is, now, the kind of things where they, you know, um, um, model up to the depression level where people they enter because they don't meet up to the social expectation yeah. of the you know of, of the people but you feel say as because a lot of people they believe say as for nigeria or lagos we day mm -hmm. this thing is constant every young guy where they are there or young lady where they are there they under pressure already mm -hmm. to meet up yes. so how you go fit even advise people with the, these kind of situations what can they stop doing mm -hmm. so that at least mentally they go feel calm down because yeah. this thing now uh, it's a big issue right now. Mm -hmm. It's a big issue. Very Social true. media itself don't cause problems. I was going to When you that. open internet, hey, exactly. this person just married. That. This one just buy photo. Mm -hmm. This one just buy house. So what do you feel safe? Yeah, this our youths we do? Mm. For me, I think it's about being very intentional mm. and deliberate. So, for example, now my social media, sometimes I go just start to unfollow some things where go disturb my cycle yeah. because I just don't want to be put in that state where, you know, I'm looking at this or that. I... It, Again, people are not deliberate about themselves. Okay. People have to remember that they have to put themselves first. Before everybody else, you come first. Okay. So before the cars, before the um, star-studded lights mm -hmm. and everything, you have to take care of your mind first. Because if you don't take care of your mind, how do you even want to enjoy those things that exactly. you're forcing for? So, you know, you have to be intentional about the friends you keep. You have mm -hmm. to be intentional about the um, network you make, the association you keep, even the things you look at. Because I say that, for example, social media is an energy. You know, as much as we see somebody and we're like, oh, I vibe with this person, or ah, this person's energy is off. Mm -hmm. You also get that too from social media, where yeah. some, some posts you'd see actually 
dampens your spirit. Death, yeah, you know, so be, you have to be. be careful not to allow those things get into you and just basically unfold. It's just a click of a button. You don't owe anybody anything. You mm. come first before anything. So mm. just unfollow, unfollow, unfollow. Mm. <laughs> see you. I don't hear. We don't they drop on our tips like this. More than they know. They are social media. If you see things, people when they prepare you, just unfollow them Very because now there they cause problem. Problem they start from there. Uh, she don't talk other things we need to do. Exercise, deliberate exercise. Not be say at the trek from uh, Osho <laughs> go mushy every day. No, deliberately you go plan and say, okay, I need mm -hmm. to walk, I need to jog. Me, I've been starting one time, oh, but if like I say I just tired, I say ah, this jogging, oh God, do help me. Uh, but I, I go definitely mm -hmm. enter and again. Well, it doesn't have to also be jogging. Or it can be dancing. It can be anything that is anything, easy for you. Yeah, like okay. for me, yoga, meditation is very easy, so okay. I just do it. I'm too skinny, so if I go to the gym, <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> They're going to look at yeah, like this. Yeah, how far? So, what are you going to do for you? How far? You want to come and. You want to vanish. You know, so, for me, when I'm in my space and I'm doing my yoga, nobody is stressing me. I feel okay. So, mm -hmm. you know, you just think about what works for you, basically, mm -hmm. and just go with it. Go and I don't hear you. Being kind mm -hmm. is very important. Being kind. <laughs> uh, people don't think, say, this one self go even add to your, um, the, 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 to your mental health level. If you just see, say, you do something for somebody and the person appreciates them. There's a feeling you mm -hmm. get in this level. So, mental health now, as we talk about, we get over 350 yeah. mental uh, health, the mental health diseases, if it affects your mind. And it, it no makes sense. 350. Ah. Uh, so, we they urge everybody to please uh, follow these things, Mona, follow this information, these steps. Choma, uh, so, if I say this is your NGO, now, which one I don't decide to do with this, how people feel enter and say, okay, oh, uh, you be like say they feel one kind. You think you talk mm -hmm. and say if you day a certain way for over two weeks, then you day sad for over mm -hmm. two weeks. You don't enter depression with that. Mm -hmm. If people want to reach out to owner, how they go feel reach out to owner? So yeah, this your NGO. I go like involved. Make yeah. talk to me. Make give me advice. Um. So first of all, I'll just like to say like the NGO space generally mm. Nigeria is doing well, especially okay. with the mental. I advocate for my other mental health NGOs because I know how much of a struggle it is yes, working so. in this space. Yes, so. And funny thing is that in Nigeria we have only two hundred and fifty psychiatrists. Psychiatrist for the wow. whole Nigeria. So basically, for one, psychi one psychiatrist people. to one million um, people uh, wow. uh, per person. Yeah, so it's really, it, I would say that if not for the NGOs, I really don't know <laughs> what would happen. And they are also doing very well. So mm -hmm. um, for us at Ola Marquez Foundation, we have a live chat. So once you come to our website, www.olamarquez.com, there's someone on the other end to chat with you. We mm -hmm. also run a 24 7 helpline. So you can always call and somebody is on the other phone to speak to you. Since the COVID 19, we've been doing teletherapy. So okay. most of the time, we just do over the phone, over the phone. Yeah, mm. therapy. You get free consultation, free therapy. It's easier that we don't, we know that the burden of taking care of the bills for mental health is very expensive. Yeah. And even insurance for mental health is not really available. Yeah. So we're just trying to do as much as we can. Normal therapy is about 20K to 25K per session. Hmm. And you have to do about four to six sessions. Hmm. <laughs> so having NGOs who are in the space that are actually doing free um, stuff really, really helps. So basically, if you want to reach out to us, uh, um, social media handles yeah. at olamakers.com. Ola There's always somebody that will listen to you. Mm. I like this one. Let's like, say I go <laughs> sharply, sharply, even call on a helpline. See, quickly, I'm feeling a little bit somehow. Little bit, uh... Lagos is uh, giving me <laughs> some kind of vibe, you know, but it's good to say we get this conversation this morning. Thank you yes, very much for coming you. on the thank show you this so morning. Much for we'll definitely me. bring you back again to uh, you know, talk about that, or some other things because mm -hmm. I still talk about over 350 mental health diseases. So we would like to even touch them yes. to understand as uh, the thing take be. But you talk say the the one way go way spread across all of them. Mm -hmm. Now the fact say if you see, realize say over two weeks you only feel a certain yes. way, yes. then you go need to talk to and somebody. And I think one thing that people need to know because you know again people might say oh God forbid it's not my portion mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. Statistics shows that one in four people suffer from a mental illness. Wow. So I always use this example. Yeah, I count you. Yeah. <laughs> I count myself. Count the two people in the studio. Yeah. One of us. Don't. Maybe I'm the one because I've already been diagnosed. So it's fine. I ah, take that. It's okay. You are taking it. <laughs> so I've taken Hold it. Hold it, please. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.